Hey boys, welcome back to another episode of Raid War 2. My name is Zach Malaren and I'm going to read the Raid personal intel about Sterling, Rivet, Kurgan and Wolfgang. Let's go. Sterling, rank former lieutenant, parachute regiment. What can be said about Sterling? Celebrity son of one of their finer families, if you care about that sort of thing, which he certainly doesn't. The press label him an adventurer, explorer and officer. Let's add some more. Thief, rascal, provocateur. In another world, he might be one of our finest officers with a chest full of medals. But it didn't quite work out that for way for him. You may wonder why his majesty's hangman is waiting for him. Well, it's not for me to say. Maybe he'll tell you when he's ready. Go to Rivet. Rivet, rank former seaman, second class USN construction. Rivet is purebred American gangster. His own mob turned on him when he got greedy, but somehow he managed to escape by signing up for the US Navy Seabees. You would think he would keep a low profile for a while. Not so. Frequently in the break for, let's see, fighting, gambling, stealing, shooting, insubordination, and sleeping with the French attaches wife. Oh, and his daughter. Charming, right? <laughs> the Germans picked him up at Kazarine Pass Seems he's one of the few prisoners they offered to exchange, but the State Department refused. Good riddance, they say. Sounds perfect for us. Kurgan. Rank, former private, Soviet Panel Battalion. If Stalin ever needed a poster boy for the term Crazy Ivan, the Kurgan is the man. Even among a military as fierce as the Red Army, his capacity for violence stands out. A little too much, perhaps. His unit was betrayed by their own officer in Leningrad, and it seems Kurgan took a rather dim view of that. He went on a one-man crusade and tracked the traitor to a fortified German hill at Kursk. By the light of, a pur of burning corpses, he killed every single man between him and the traitor, whose head he cleaved with a spade. How lovely. He was tried in absentia, or in subordination and sentenced to death, but that doesn't seem to have reduced his enthusiasm for killing fascists in the least. Wolfgang, former Obersturmbahnführer, Waffen SS, a former SS officer, but before you close the file, let me tell you about Wolfgang. Born to Austrian aristocracy, but not so far up he ever made money from it. Well, not enough anyway. Not for a man with Wolfgang's tastes. And that's what brought him to the Nazi party, you see. It wasn't ideology, it was the chance to make easy money. But don't let me give you the impression he is a lightweight after an easy windfall. He's highly trained and highly decorated, a veteran of France, Poland and Norway. But money, that's his big weakness. A political rival turned on him for trying to sell stolen art, which of course they themselves had looted. He was sentenced to death. So, in other words, all of these raiders are sentenced to death in some way. Alright guys, so this is the raid personal intel. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next Raid World War 2 video. Bye!